welcome this is the energy vibration reading for all the Libra Sun Moon and Rising it is the month of uh, um, okay the month of August okay it is the month of August 2017 and uh, it is the month of water because we have the energy vibration of the hermit that is coming in and I don't know what is happening I'm trying to get your reading out but it's just a lot of stuff that is happening so anyway we're going to um, still work against the energies because sometimes it's just negative influence from other people energies that is affecting my energies so I can't get is the cards are just sticking together okay it is going to be a month of inner wisdom in a searching empowerment it's going to be a month of empowerment August 2017 and it's going to affect a lot of people so um, get ready for um, being awakened to who you are as a true spiritual being and finding out who you are because whenever the energy of uh, the um, hermit is here the hermit is really really working with uh, um, finding inner peace and true um, prosperity in your life but yet still connecting at a higher level in your life so whatsoever is going on in this month at the end of the month you're going to find inner wisdom that is going to bring you to some place that is um, beautiful and you are going to be enlightened by who you are and find out how beautiful you are so here we are the energy of the hermit even though the whatever negative energies are here the energies of the hermit is here and the energies of the hermit is such a wonderful vibration it is a positive vibration all it does is that it is bringing you in a wisdom and connecting you with your spirit guides as I've always said that the spirit guides are about to come in and they're coming in and they're really connecting with people if you're ready to connect with your spirit guides and your angels and this sort of a thing it is going to be a month where you Librans are going to connect so whatever is happening it's a wonderful possible um, situation that is happening and it is something that we all should know what's happening and uh, um, we need to understand what is happening around us and um, the month of August is uh, the energy vibration we are beginning August with the fire we're ending it with the heart zodiac energy okay so this is wonderful I love this hermit because it's um, it's a turtle that is going slowly and surely but learning about itself as it goes along so now this is very wonderful you guys have the two of swords um, in reverse which um, this two of swords uh, um, it's standing up uh, this two of swords is really showing you clarity to a situation so whatsoever that has been happened and whatsoever that has been um, has taken place whatsoever that has been happening you're finally going to see clarity because you're going to call upon your angels and guides to see the clarity in whatever situation that is going on okay all right we have five weeks in this month of August and the first week we have an earth energy vibration the second week we have the energy of the lovers coming out so it's a wonderful perform week if you are someone who is looking for a relationship a soulmate a twin flame relationship it is here in the second week in the third week we have the energy of something being lost um, and the energy of the tower is here something has been lost but yet still something has been gained whatever that was stressed in you out is going to come to an end as we move on and we look at the fourth week we have the fourth week which is your own energy vibration of justice which is good whatever situation some of you were going through and you you were you know you were this honestly um, people have lied and that sort of a thing it's going to be coming to an end as we look forward and we have the five week we have another water energy which is the energy of the moon the energy of the moon comes up with debt and it's going to be the end of a relationship for a lot of people okay um, it can also be um, a debt in the family or a debt of a close friends it's, it's mostly debt um, of a close friend that is coming up okay all right um 
what we're going to do is look at the first week the earth the first week comes out with the energy of the five of swords this the, the, the first week is going to be huge conflicts for you Librans. whatever is happening in the first week it's going to be huge conflicts in your life whatever the conflicts are there's going to be extremely um, huge conflicts with other people um, people that is happening and you need to bring a balance okay whatever is happening this huge conflict that is going on you need to bring a balance okay this balance has to happen you really really need to bring a balance in your life because whatever is happening there is going to be a lot of uh, um, conflicts so you have to realize how you're going to be dealt and dealing with this conflicts because whatever you have gotten yourself in you have gotten yourself into deep shit sorry <laughs> but it, it's bad okay so whatever situation you have gotten yourself in you need um, to bring balance to it because whatever it is uh, um, you know there is going to be so much conflicts for you Leo's in the first week it is a week of earth so it's bringing balance into your world so try and use that balance as we look at the second week and this is so wonderful even though the conflicts comes up in the first week you have the energy of the daughter the daughter of sword the daughter of sword the mother of sword the daughter of so of, of ones the daughter of ones whatever the situation is with the daughter of ones it, it it has come to an end and you know seriously okay if it's not your child um if it's not your child and it's a friend or that sort of a thing it's okay let it go um, you don't really need this person in your life to be honest so whatever the situation is if you have a niece or a cousin or whatever whoever this child is and uh, there is a, a, a transformation that this child move along let it go for some people in the second week okay you might have this special love for this child but this child is vibrating on a very low energy vibration and think of it as if you know whatever it is let it go if you're an adult and you're having a relationship with this princess of ones um, okay they're, 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 okay it, it, it is true love but a child is a child people know what is difference a child is a child okay for the people who are really connecting and if you're between the ages of 18 and 21 and you're connecting with this daughter of swords you know it's gonna be true love it's gonna be actually true love so whatever is happening you know and you're connecting with this person in the second week of August it's going to be true love it's going to be a soulmate kind of a love and with the soulmate kind of a love it is good because you're you're changing the energy vibration and this is good so whoever this um, Aries um, Leo or the Sagittarius is it's going to be okay all right um, be careful the ages of kids because people tend to be going in relationship with younger people and you're going to get yourselves in trouble so be aware of that okay it is a week of love so for you um, uh, liberals who are looking for relationship the second week is going to be a positive positive week as we move on and I have to put my glasses on because um, these cards have um, different sort of a thing we have the father of cups the father of cups the father of cups is um is here and this is a wonderful energy but be aware of what is happening because something is about to tear down so if it's your father and there is going to be a, a, um, a sense of uh, um, disagreement and that sort of a thing be aware of whatever is going on um, be also aware of whatever is going on but um, you know if it's your father do not steal from your father or try not to let this don't steal from this person or neither let this person steal from you whatever is going on something is going to be shed in light because the energy of the tower is coming down about this king of cups so be aware of it because there is something that is going on a sense of loss and a sense of 
uh, something being lost so be aware of what is going on a lot of you women are going to be connecting with this king of cups he's not a bad person he or she is not a bad person but do not try to profit from this person because it is going to have uh, um, a, 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 a you know you um, I'm getting the energy vibration and I'm getting the information from my guides and angel that whoever you are you are the person who is the Libra and this Queen King of Cups is a very nice person the tower whatever is happening is going to break down because apparently you're lying and now I see why this is happening you're lying and he's gonna find out about you in the third week okay he's gonna realize that you are lying about certain things so uh, whoever you are and you're a woman and a liberal and you're in a relation with a queen the king of cups can be um, a Pisces um, a cancer or uh, a, a cancer or a, a scorpion and I, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that it's a scorpion and a Pisces they're going to find out that you're lying about something and they're going to find out that you're a dishonest person so be aware of this because you are carrying the energy vibration of the two of swords so you are going to see this person is going to see you for who you are and it's going to be the end in the fourth week you have the energy vibration of um, the energy vibration of the ten of swords okay whatever that has been going on um, for some people for the people who has been vibrating on the eye energy vibration which you have been positive honest and you didn't do anything you you did not bring injustice to somebody else this is going to be good for the people who have brought injustice to other people this this the, the this um, energy is going to vibrate in the opposite direction and the the justice is going to come down on you very hard okay harsh so be aware that you liberals carry the scale of justice but if you have done something injustice to someone else the scale of justice is going to come down on you as if uh, like the terror of the tower okay and whatever you have done to uh, um, um, a a Scorpio a Pisces or a, a cancer it's going to hit you real hard because once that person find out that you have done something injustice and once um, the people found out what you have done it's going to hit you like a rock so be aware of what you send out whatever you send out you'll be receiving because obviously some of you have not been vibrating on high energy vibration and this is going to caught up with you in the fourth week okay your own energy vibration can be there and whatever that has happened whatever you did is going to come to an end okay you have to bear this cross because you have gotten yourself into it so be aware of what you're getting yourself in and you liberals out there because this is you know love is in the second week and it's powerful but for the rest of the 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 the, the, the time it is a lot of conflicts in the first week a lot of conflicts and that sort of a thing in the first week so be aware because whatever that has been going on it's going to come to an end and if you have done someone injustice you're going to get back and it's going to come on it's going to come it's going to come at you very hard as we look at the last week and five week there is a transformation there's a debt and transformation as i have said to a lot of people it could have to do with someone crossing over to the spirit world so the energy of death and transformation is happening this week and it can be that someone is crossing over to the spirit world okay um, um, debt and transformation is just transformation and you, you know we need to understand that debt is not something that is permanent that is you know it is that someone has done their lesson and their work on this planet and they're moving on and they're transforming themselves and you know you know moving on to a better life in somewhere better let's hope so someone for some people your psychic is going to be so alive for some people there is going to be a situation that um, um, it's as if um, your angels and guides are going to um, whatever you have done that is not good they are going to be um, you know it's like they'll be in your head making you see what you have done and ask for forgiveness so 
you're going to be really they're going to be bombarding you so whatever that has been happening because this is a spiritual month that month of August is very spiritual it's going to be you looking at yourself and really seeing what you have done to someone else and you know this is going to be is something that is going to um, you know really let you look at yourself and see what you have done because it, they're going to come down hard on you whoever you are out there and this is not for everyone you should know who you are whatever that has been happening your angels and guides are going to come down on you and people who are in the spirit world and who have passed on it's going to really really make you take a good look at yourself to see what you have done okay this is this is not one of the easiest time because uh, they can come down and they can make you um, be very very hard so some people will lose some people will lose a very good friend who is going to pass over to the spirit world and some people are going to connect with their soul mates and soul family and they're going to come in as your guides okay so it's going to affect people in a lot of ways some people good friends or someone who you know could be passing over to the spirit world and there's nothing wrong with that and some people are going to be connecting with their soul family in the spirit world okay so there is going to be two sort of a because the energy um, you know it can be your pets is passing over also some of you but it's uh, the, the energy of this card is really someone who is very good very good who has been very positive to you in your life and that sort of a thing it can be a friend but it can be a relative who was a very good friend so it is, can play in a lot of ways so you know it can also be your pet okay but whatever is going on whatever you have done um, your angels and guides are going to really really because it's a month of your intuition and connecting your angels and guides are really really going to um, come in really hard to let you look at yourself and see what you have done okay this is wonderful um, this is extremely good um, as I look at your month um, it is your month is the energy vibration of um, the hermit and whenever the hermit is here it is always in, in a wisdom and you're you know seeing things whether or not you wanted to see things what would happen because if you thought you could have done something and get away with it it's not going to happen in this uh, time span because whatever we give out and whatever karma we create for other people we be receiving back that karma at this time so you know this is what is playing out and we need to understand what exactly is going on because obviously there is a lot of things that has been going on because we have five weeks in this month and this five weeks is going to teach you to empower yourself and whatever that you have done it's all going to come out in this month so be aware remember the first week is going to be a week of conflicts you have the five of swords you have uh, um, another energy of conflicts conflicts conversation a lot of conflicts um, that is going to happen for you guys in the first week be aware of this in the second week is a positive week for love it is a positive week for love um, and whoever is uh, um, you know if you are 18 and to 35 and you're having a relationship or you met someone who is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius you're going to see this play out for you for the second thing um, in the third week we have the tower the energy of the tower whatsoever you have done to uh, Pisces a Scorpio a Pisces a Scorpio or a cancer um, the truth is going to come out okay and uh, whatever you try to steal from him do not do it because it's going to have a terrible effect on you because you have done something that was unjust to him okay this is all going to come out as we look at the the fourth week we have the energy of justice the energy of justice is here and whatever if you have done something in just in just to someone that it's going to come down kai hard on you and then an end is going to come to this because whatever you have done to someone else is going to come back to you in the last and final week the fifth week whatever is happening um your 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 you know your 
ego it's not going to be your ego it's going to be your your mighty I am present self is going to show you what you have done and how this and it could cost you a lot of good friendship it could cost you friendship it could cost you a lot of good friendships okay so be aware love is going to be a spectacular in the second week and it's only in the second week whatsoever is happening it's not showing up anywhere else it's only in the second week so what whoever is looking for a relationship the second week is going to be good as we look at the astrological event for the Sun moon and rising sign let's see what we're having we have a uh, Mars, uh, no, um, a Taurus and Pluto. Taurus and Pluto is coming up for the Sun people and the Aquarius. Okay, whatsoever is happening here, we have the energy vibration of the Sun. And for the Sun people, the Sun, Moon, and Rising, we have the energy of Taurus. So um, the energy of uh, the Taurus are going to come out. So these are Earth people that is going to bring balance to you. And um, and then we have the planet of Pluto that is going to be working together with you and these Earth people. Okay, so you have Taurus and Pluto for the Sun sign people. And then we have the energy of the Aquarians happening here okay so this is wonderful because the Aquarians is your sister sign so um, working with Pluto the Aquarians working with Pluto is going to be a positive endeavor because what is going to happen is good the Aquarians are going to start teaching you certain aspect that you need to know okay as we move on we're going to look at the moon people and see what is happening for the people who um, vibrate under the energy vibration and was born under the energy of the moon and let's see what we have we have the Sagittarians coming in which is a good sign that's it. and we have the Pisces so we have fire and water and we have another water sign so whatever is happening is the energy of the moon what is happening because it's a spiritual month is that the energy of the moon people you will have to work with Sagittarius which is the planet of luck but yet still Sagittarius is the planet the new planet that is opening up and they're the healers so whatsoever is happening is that they want to connect you want they want you to connect with yourself and to connect the by the part the Pisces are coming in to help you to be aware of your psychic gifts and knowledge so this is what the Pisces are coming up for with to help you to awaken you of your psychic gifts and knowledge and then we have the Scorpio who is going to break out certain information to you which is going to be very valuable so for you Librans who were born in the night you will be working with the, the Sagittarius and um, the Sagittarius and um, the Pisces and you also have the scorpions okay so you have no planetary aspect because this the scorpions is going to show you your enemies and going to show you things that you weren't aware of and the I mighty I am presence is going to work with the energy vibration of the Pisces because you know the Sagittarians are the healers and they you know vibrate on so many different energies but yet still the scorpions are going to come out and show you who your enemies are so you know get ready for this because it's going to be something which is spectacular it's going to be a month whenever this month is finished a lot of people are going to find that they are totally different than how they begin the month so you know be aware because every month has a totally different energy vibration um, as we move on we are looking for um, what the vortex the energy vibration vortex have to say and it is um, be the uh, differ I could have a track unwanted relationships and that is true this is the second time it's coming out by different I could attract unwanted relationship many of the relationships of expectations you have attracted you would not have uh, deliberately attract them as been doing the purpose but much of your attraction is not done by deliberate intention but by rather defense it is important to understand that you get what you think 
about whether or not you know that so remember whatever the relationship is that you're looking for be aware of what you think about because whatever you think about this is what you're going to attract in your life so I want to say to each and every person this is going to be a month of uh, um, facing your worst fears and looking at uh, looking at uh, yourself and in the sense you're going to empower yourself so it's you know you're you be looking at your worst fear whatever is going on um, it's, it's a situation that you be looking at your worst fear so be aware of this um, and be open to whatever that is going on because you need to understand who you are as a spiritual being and um, you're going to see a side of you that you never thought uh, um, exist okay so uh, be aware of what you ask for you will receive and I want to say to each and every person namaste until next week